What's up guys, it's JS Customs, and today, pretty much what we're going to be doing is going an overview of the Battle of Galicia. Um, this approximately took me about like, a month and a half, something like that. Just, uh, most of the time I spent gathering the parts. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm sick, so sorry if my voice sounds a little off, I'm not feeling too good. So just decided to make this video. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna go over the how it was made, details about it, and then I'm gonna play a quick slideshow for you guys. Um, but just like cool shots I had and stuff like that. Um, so at the convention center I displayed this, and I had a Pucha Love Garford on here, but it was one of my friends. He let me borrow it for the convention, which is really nice of him. Um, but it's his, obviously, so I gave it back to him. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, figures are relatively easy, but the Austro-Hungarians, I had to source some parts from. I had to look around, get some torsos. Did take a little bit, so. Um, but yeah. Putilov Garford was right there. I didn't get any shots with it, which sort of sucks. Um, yeah. That's bad, but, um... The final product was alright, I'm not too happy with the layering. A little bit checkered, obviously. Um, but yeah. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to take this thing apart, though. But, uh, yeah. So, this said, one and a half months, approximately. Uh, the trenches, the uh, building was relatively easy. Creators were easy, everything was just really a piece of cake. Um, the Russians, and then you have. These guys, let me get the mock card for it. Here's the mock card I just played with it. So, yeah, so pretty much Battle of Galicia. Um, pretty much just a battle between the Russians and the Austro Hungarians. Early war, pretty major battle. Um, Battlefield 1 pretty much inspired me to make this. Although I, I knew the houses are really much of the trees. It was just plain uh, farmland. So yeah. Early stages of World War 1. But, um, yeah. All sorts of little details and stuff like that. Yeah. This little trench area. We've got Sniper. We've got this dude right here. Um, yeah, both, or not both, one of these guys has MOCB trench coat, and all the Russian torsos are from Citizen Brick. And then over here, this section, we have a gunner, and then we have this dude, infantryman, tree stump, just some gear and stuff like that, he's armed with the Vickers. Then we got these guys, got a commander right there, leading the charge, you got a guy following right behind him. Now for the Austro-Hungarian side of things. Trenches are a little beat up, I know they were better before. Carrying it around at all. This guy's working the MG-08, right here. These are car 98s, not very accurate, but they actually used their 95s. But the car 98s are they just like better over molded variants. The closest thing to a Gewehr 95 would probably be like a probably Gewehr 98, probably from Brick Arms. There's a little trench line. We got this dude. On the grenade. All different sorts of details in the trench. Got that guy too. So, yeah, that is just pretty much an overview of it. Uh, I was fine with that final product. One of my bigger bucks. As I said, stay tuned. 
Um, weekly update. I forget number like four, shit like that. Three or four. I think it's four. Uh, should be coming in the next day or two. Once I get uh, some more parts in, I'm gonna organize my stuff. Pretty much just all over the place. Some of it's in here for the moment. That's where I used to organize my old brick arms. But I have moved on to other other bins and stuff like that. Um. So, um, I do have a new plane and a tank I built to show you guys. Both of them were my first attempts. This uh, I built a stug. I have to work on a turret a little bit. Um, honestly though, it was literally my first tank. I was like up till like 2 a.m. in the morning just building it. No reference pictures or anything. Just found some parts and just started building it. What I thought looked like from memory. And then I think I built a plane. It actually turned out pretty pretty nice. I do like the final product. Uh, the back needs some work in the front, but uh, small details can make this thing look a little bit better. You can take a warhawk or something. I have to I have to figure that out. Honestly, it was just a random plan I started building. So, so that's all right. Landing gear is pretty good. And then, as I said, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna use that plan for the loop off the airfield. I think I'm just gonna use that BF 109 and uh, RC. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for this part of the video. I'm going to show you guys a slideshow, and then I'm going to show you guys pics of the figs individually, stuff like that. But yeah guys, uh, here's the slideshow. Alright guys, so you saw the pics in the slideshow, and now uh, instead of individually, I guess, oh, it is individually, um, I wasn't going to take pics, but instead I thought I'd do a little bit short video segment of each of the figs. All of the figs you see here have a backpack, besides uh, two of the Russians, the commander and the sniper, of course. So I guess we'll go uh, left to right. So we have this guy, sniper, MMCV trench coat. CB torso to the back and this is a custom painted Mosin Gant with a silencer so yeah that thing turned out pretty nice I liked him and right there and then we have this gunner with the Vickers machine gun One of my favorite figs, I do like him. Little pouch right there. All CB printed torsos for the Russians. He's got his backpack right there. Get him to stand up. There we go. And we have just another regularly uh, regular infantryman. Armed with a 1895 lever action dark brown from Brick Arms. He's got the CB printed torso. And a backpack. Backpacks did turn out really good for all these guys. All of them were clean. I thought I did a pretty good job on it. We have this guy. He's got the Mosin the Gant revolver. Obviously, the programs didn't make it, but it's a revolver. 
for you. <clears throat> Here's this other soldier. Armed with more gear. He, and this time he's got the Mosin again infantry and dark burn. A little bit more accurate to the time period. And then this guy, he just has an M1903 sniper. Or not sniper, just an M1903. Not accurate, but uh, I want to add something with a bayonet in it. So yeah. This fig did turn out pretty nice. And he's got the backpack and everything. So I like these figs. So these are pretty much it for the Russians. Uh, I actually had to find a lot of caps for all these guys too. So definitely gonna use them in later stuff. But yeah guys, and on to the Austro-Hungarians. So here are the Austro-Hungarians. They are all dark gray, can't tell. Um, they've got the field caps. Ooh. They have got the field caps from Lego. Um, all armed with overmolds besides this POA. But he's got uh, the AT anti-tank grenade from Brick Arms, not the original, the V2. So I guess we'll go with, with the gunner first. Armed with the Brick Arms overmolded prototype, MG08-18. Here's the fig itself. He's got the TMC Stormtrooper torso. Well, I do prefer the CB ones for World War One, uh, but that just had to do. It didn't look too bad actually. We got this guy, CB blood spatter face, TMC stormtrooper torso. Doesn't look too bad. He's got the Luger AT grenade backpack. I like that fig a lot. They got two infantrymen. I'll show you guys this one first. CB torso. Over one. Overmolded car 98 in the backpack. And then just another. Um, this next thing I'm about to show you is actually from a CB Day Russian from World War II. Just the, this is the gray version of this torso. So the exact same thing. So if I got more of these, they would have been very useful. Um, but it was during CB day. CB day, so it was pretty rare. Armed with a stick grenade, or steel grenade, M24. CB printed face, grenade, printed boots. Yes, all of the torsos, heads, um, and legs are printed. But yeah, that's it for the Austro-Hungarians. Guys, that is going to wrap up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed pretty much the overview of it, the slideshow, and of course the figs. And expect weekly updates coming soon. But yeah, guys, I'll do it for the video. Please make sure to like, comment if you have any questions or concerns. And if you aren't already subbed, go ahead and subscribe. So a lot of more World War II content coming your guys' way. Also, I'm going to be doing... Um, maybe some more theaters, mixing it up, APOC, uh, Western, stuff like that. Um, definitely, definitely it's going to be, uh, a lot of new stuff, stuff coming. So that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.